Guys, look at your watches. You know what time it is. Time to cube draft. Welcome in. Welcome in. What's going on here? What did I miss? Not much. Not much. You guys didn't go too crazy today. Which surprises me, because I always expect for you to go peak crazy. And uh, sometimes you leave me... Uh, me and my girlfriend are super ill. Can we get a shout out for Flu Gang? Yo, Flu Gang. Much love. Feel better, Flu Gang. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna pour some out for the Flu Gang, and pour, by pour some out, I mean pour it out in my mouth. Flu Gang represent. Oh man, the surprise Pikachu mode is going over quite well. Quite well. That was a very good, uh, very good decision, I think. If I do say so myself. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, head on over to Twitch and you can give me your Twitch Prime or uh, just a regular sub even. For five bucks a month. Helps me out a ton. And uh, it keeps, it makes sure the content keeps rolling. And you get all these sweet emotes like the Pikachu emote. Or the bustin' emote, or the thick emote. Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Courtesy of our boy, Anthony Fantano. And what are we taking right here? Huh. This pack's a little underwhelming. We could take Sinister Sabotage and just lean towards the mono blue deck, which I think is actually very, very good. That is me when people sub just for the Pikachu remote. Two creature lands, two... Are they fast lands? Is that what we call them? It is also super dark outside, and I was like, wow, have we been streaming for that long? No, it's only like 3.30 here, but it's, it's definitely rain city outside. Whoa, it works. Why wouldn't it work? Twin is not in the queue because it's banned, yes. So you have Pestamite, but you only have Kiki Jiki to go with it, which is less impressive. I almost like a Johnny Vengeant here, and we can try to be like a red-white deck, but I don't know if it's any good. I bet Pestamite actually comes back. I'm going to take the Sinister Sabotage. And then we find a Teferi. And as much as I like Ashiok, I think we're going to take the Teferi. We also just did blue-black. Oh, I'm going to do blue-white. Teferi is very, very strong. I don't know if you guys knew this. Have you guys heard? I double-clicked on it multiple times. Okay, we did it. I just didn't want to, like, accidentally pick something else here. We could also take this Sorin now, and then hope this Watery Grave tables. I bet it won't. We could also take Oblivion Ring. Huh. I'm going to take the Sorin. I think it's stronger. And I like the idea of being Esper super friends. Maybe the Ashiok comes back, too. Yeah, Ashiok's never coming back, let's be real. I do like this Soren though. Like, plus one, you make a... Like, this is the, the one that constantly makes... This is like the Elspeth of Sorens. Ooh. Concealed Courtyard is nice. Hero of Bladehold is very, very nice. One of the strongest creatures you can get, as you can imagine. Ashiok may as well be color. Well, let's not make it colorless. Let's not make it easier for him to splash. This card is just bonkers, right? I'm going to take Hero of Bladehold. I don't think Concealed Courier is one of the better fixing lands, but we could also just forego the black or the blue at this. Not the black. Or not the blue or the black, rather, because we do have Sinister Sabotage. Riftwing Cloudscape is nice. I like a Riftwing Cloudscape. I don't mind a treasure map. I think this could be good. I think Risk of Riffin Cloud Skate's better, though, because it does tempo you. And tempo's pretty important and limited. Anguished Unmaking, huh? This card's very versatile. Probably better than Brimaz here. Yeah, I'm going to take the Anguished Unmaking. I want to be more of a control deck than an aggressive, like... Oh, see, there we go. Now we get a Shambling Vent. 
and all is right with the world. And this guy's more of a two drop anyway, so we're gonna move you. Should look a little more like this. Just curious, did you ever try a miracle deck back in the day? Uh, when specifically? In like standard or? Clarify your question, good sir. What's your favorite Planeswalker card all time if you had to choose one? It would probably be Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, I have a big soft spot for Obnixilus Reignited, though, as well. Not because he's, like, a great card. Um, just because I think it's the most elegant execution of that style of Planeswalker, I think. So, like, you, like we went over in the last video, um, or if you're watching on Twitch, the last draft, you have five mana Planeswalkers with five loyalty. Their plus one draws you a card. Their negative three usually ends up dealing with a creature somehow. And I think... You know, being able to destroy the creature and also just draw, like, flat out drawing a card are two of the most elegant ways to do that. And, uh, I just like Obnixilis. I like a black card. I like black having those kind of uh, abilities. Robert Nixilis, Accountant to the Multiverse. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, if you don't uh, carry the one, you're going to, uh, t you're going to lose one life. I think Dark Slick Shores. I think the lane is more important than cast out when we already have Anguish Done Making. And we could actually get the Oblivion Ring back if we got the cast out back. If we're going to go three colors, it looks like it looks like we definitely are. Uh, I think the lands are definitely more important. It's funny that we have Rainy Mood on because outside also it looks like it's starting to rain. So... Might have double rain. Oh, Aleshnorn? Sure. That's just a great top end for any kind of Esper deck. I'll take a selfless spirit. I don't really want Augur. If Augur was to put a non-creature spell in your hand, I think it'd be great. Oh, Concealed Courtyard came back. That's super nice. I'm not a huge fan of these lands because they often come into play tapped. Without the benefit of being like a shambling vent, they can also attack. Fairgrounds Warden. All of these cards are actually playable. Wow, that's a late Ronus. If I was a green deck, I would take a Ronis. That guy's not that playable. Carney T. Condemn is nice. Definitely Thank keeps... Uh... Twister, thank you so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I like Exclusion Mage as well. It actually is surprisingly just effective at throwing a dude back. I don't really want another big card. We have a lot of big cards here. We're looking at two and three drops, I think. Condemn is nice. One mana deal with anything. Uh, I can actually see Crux of Fate tabling, though. And there's also a lot of repeatable effects like that. There's also Day of Judgment, Wrath of God, and Damnation, and Languish in this cube. So I'm not super high on taking a Crux here. I'd rather just have a Condemn, because one mana is pretty strong. Oh, an Elspeth. An Immortal Sun. Not really in the market for Immortal Sun with three very, very good Planeswalkers so far. I do like Hollowed Fountain a lot. Uh, I prioritize the fetch lands and the shock lands that are on color very, very high. Hey, I have a question for you. Oh, illusions donate GG. Let's hear it, buddy. I like this Elspeth, but I think we're fine just taking the on color fixing. Azorius Signet. Oh, this is this is a 
This is a real good one, though. Yeah, we're taking this Elspeth. This Elspeth's un unbeatable. Maybe the Azorius Sigma comes back. Ooh, Bane Slayer. Right? Oh, my Thanks. goodness gracious. Draylax, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really, really appreciate it. Is Leovold your favorite card? Uh, it actually might be. I say it's Cryptic Command a lot, but I think I actually forget Leovold exists a lot, and I think Leovold's probably up there. Leovold has create, not only created some pretty sweet moments, it's also created by one of my favorite artists. Uh, it's in my favorite color combination, and I have the art print right above my desk here because it's really great. So, I, it's, I think it's, it's very likely that Leovold is one of my favorite cards, if not my favorite. I took Baneslayer because I think Baneslayer is very, very strong in, uh, in cube. Is it Gaunti, Deconstone, or Disallow? It's probably Disallow, I think. We don't have a reason to be double blacking things. Yeah, I like. Yeah, but we are tapping out a lot, is the other thing. Could also be History of Benalia. Uh, this is actually from a pro this is actually a website called rainy rainymood.com. So let me know on the YouTube comments as well if you guys like it or not. I'm not sure if the ambiance is helpful. Or if you guys are like, that's really obnoxious. I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, we're gonna have to pick something. I don't like Deckenstone just because I think it, this this effect is pretty repeatable. I'd rather just have a disallow, I think. Like what I mean by that is that like we're gonna get a lot of cards that do similar things to Deck and Stone, like Anguished on Making, Conclave Tribunal, which is probably the pick. I think it's probably better than Monastery Mentor here. We could also take the off color signet as well. That is an option. I'll go look. I'll go look and see if you already posted this video that we're in right now. Do that. I think it is actually the Signet. Like, Tribunal's awesome, but the problem with Tribunal is that uh, we're not going to actually be able to play it for cheap, so it's basically just 4 mana. Fumigate's pretty okay. Can you draw an Archive? Not terrible. As someone with Cyclical Insomnia who enjoys... Well, that's cool. As someone who has so many who watches your YouTube videos to get to sleep, I enjoy it quite a bit. Appreciate it. Um, what are we taking? Fumigate here? Yeah, I'm just going to take the Fumigate. I don't know if we're going to play it main deck or not, but... I like a... Sh oh, uh, no, we're not we're not red. <laughs> we are not red. I got excited, but we are not red. Sheldock Isle is nice. We can take a Sheldock Isle. Not as strong. Yeah, and this is why we didn't take the Crux of Fate at first, because... Not only can we get a Fumigate, we also have the opportunity to get a Wrath of God, and we have the Crux of Fate coming back. Exclusion Mage and Repeal are nice. Sublime, not bad. It always surprises me when people go into chat to do stuff like that. I'm like, but why? What do you get out of it? I'm going to take Repeal. Oh, the Elspeth came back too. Good lord. That's fascinating. Felidar Guardian. I'm going to take Condescend. I wanted to kind of play a counterspell deck, and it looks like we're... Okay, Day of Judgment came back. That's probably going to be in the main deck. Deck and, deck and Stone and Hister Benalia came back. Okay. Tribunal came back as well. Okay, so we're the only white drafter at this table. Maybe the only blue drafter as well, so... That's very fascinating. In Ireland, we don't need a sound effect for rain. Well, that is something. That is something. Blade Splicer, also playable. This pack is... See, we also have a Damnation here. Lots of options for this this type of effect. Pretty sure it's Banishing Light here. I mean, we've passed an Oblivion Ring, and I think just having access to Banishing Light is nice. We also have Phantasmal Image. 
I like that all our, our black cards are. We have like three black cards, and they're just. Uh, Oh, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna highlight this banishing light, and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, we took the Banishing Light. Get rewarded with a Flooded Strand. Pretty sure that's the pick. I wish we had a black land to search for. But there's still time. Demir Signet, that is a nice reward. I like Marshall Coup. I like Lyra, I like Doom Whisperer, I like Scalding Tarn, but not really. It does get Hollowed Fountain. Godless Shrine. Whew. I just ran to the door and ran back. Uh, Godless Shrine's great because we also have Flooded Strand. And I thought we had another one. No, we took Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, I'm going to take Godless Shrine here. <laughs> he drawed a wiener. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the long and short of it, of the wiener. Lingering Soul seems great here. Um, probably better than Journey and Remand. We already have other things. Uh, whereas Lingering Souls is... Great. I'm going to take Lingering Souls. Oh, we did it. Yep, that's all we wanted to happen, I guess. Yep, just taking Sphinx's Rev here. With two Signets, I feel real good about a Sphinx's Rev as well, so... Dragonlord Ojitai and a Gideon Jura? Oh my god. This deck is looking incredible right now, dude. Our lands are looking good. Also, just a Fatal Push is good, too. We only have five creatures, but we do have a lot of solid Planeswalkers here. Like, like five of them. And our creatures are like Aleshnorn, Hero of Bladehold, Baneslayer Angel, Blade Splicer, and Riffling Cloudskate. I like Gideon more than I like Ojitai, but yeah, I want to take the Ojitai. Ojitai is just a cooler card. No offense, Gideon. I don't like either of these. It's either Obstructionist or Boros Signet. I think I'm going to take Obstructionist here. I don't want a third Signet. I want to sneeze, though. <coughs> I feel like I'm at about one sneeze per, uh, per stream. I have not done an all creature stipulation yet. But that could be a good one. Uh I sort of thought Sky or Porcelain Engineer. Probably just taking the Porcelain Engineer. Actually I like Sky Sovereign a lot. I wish I could crew it with uh planeswalkers. But it's still fine. Unbarrel rights could be very good here. I'll take Unbarrel rights. Marshall Coup and Lyra? Wow. Our only two angels are Baneslayer and Lyra, right? We don't actually have other angels. 
Oh, uh, Josh, actually, we, I think we did a we just did a creatureless tip the other day. It's on YouTube. I'm gonna take Lyra because we already have Fumigate and Day of Judgment, and I think Lyra is actually just better than oh Glacial Fortress. Sure. Sure. Oh, Seagram Coast. Sure. I'll take all these fixing lands that come at the last minute. Twenty-five. Need two cuts. Probably Blade Splicer. I'm not super impressed with Blade Splicer. And maybe we just play both. And I probably want to cut Repeal. I think this is the deck. Actually, I don't know if I love Deck and Stone. Maybe I do. Actually, it gets sort of like a bunch of tokens and stuff. Look at all these lands. These are great. We're going to play Sheldock. We're not going to play Windbrisk Heights. So every card of these is white. It's worth keeping in mind. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white sources. That should be fine for now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven blue sources. And then we have one, two, Flood String, it's Godless Shrine, so three, four, five, six, seven black sources. Yeah, that seems actually perfect. Deckinson is vintage cube worthy. Um, not really, just because you have other things. You have like you have swords to plowshares. You have path to exile. You have all kinds of answers already. Tell me, is the dream dying? <laughs> oh. oh, I forgot to hit play, so we're just waiting here for nothing. I was like, man, why is this taking so long? Well, because sometimes magic is hard, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, sometimes they make some weird choices in the cubes. I can't defend all of them or explain all of them. I'm going to keep this hand. I would rather be on the play, but the dream is dying. That was a good hit, I think. Signet, Demir Signet off the top would be fantastic. Oh, they didn't do anything? This is good. Demir Signet off the top. Let's rip it. I mean, if we can dodge one thing here. I don't think we're going to. They're going to play Steel Leaf Overseer, and our game is going to just end. Steel Leaf Champion, not Overseer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's the best ever. Oh, man. We are good to go. Do you know who puts together the cube? A lot of cultures. Uh, I'm actually not sure. I imagine it's some kind of team effort. I am going to counter this. Maybe. Yeah, we don't have a way to deal with it. Plus, they have five lands. Um, eh, mm, eh, mm. I will keep that, actually. We have a... We already have a land in hand. So we can actually con to someone over there play for three here. Well, I'm going to counter this because it just gets better over time. So we're just going to be the unfun guy that counters all the things. We want to hit lands, though, and this actually helps us hit the lands. Bottom both of these. Yeah. Well, keep 
keep on passing. We could Sphinxes for one, which is nice. I'm glad you guys like the rain. This is nice. So if anybody hates it, let me know. And we have 17 lands and two signets. Like, we should be able to hit a, a land or a signet here at least. I'm gonna say kill all your things. I'm sorry, dude. I don't wanna be this guy, but. Like, I have nothing else to do, so. If we can go land Ojitai. Yeah, we did it. Fun. <laughs> I mean, like. Is this your first match of magic? Definitely happens. That's how counter spells work. I don't know what to tell you. What dual lands do you think are must includes in a vintage cube? Let's see you can only pick three of each pair. Wait, what do you mean? Like three du three actual dual lands or three shock lands or three fetch lands? Or do you mean three sets of ten? Because I think you need all sets of ten. I don't think you want to skimp on, on on lands in cube. Three sets of ten. The thing, the three I think you definitely need are shock lands, fetch lands, and uh, dual lands. Those are the three I think you definitely, definitely need. Um, additionally, mine has the ones that uh, come into play untapped if you control a basic and also creature lands. So, let's try to hit something here. And also try not to get killed with a two mana spell like a murderous cut. We did not. I want a black source. Teferi is also pretty darn good. I'm going to take the Teferi. Well, they only have five lands, so they're not going to be able to flip Nissa next turn. Video killed the radio. If we drew a black land, can you imagine how good that would be? We can actually keep up Anguished on making. That's pretty good. But you only untap two lands here, so you'd probably just make a full party. Uh, in my 360 cube, I think I have like 55 uh, non-basic lands. Do we just kill Nissa here? I would like a black source at some point. That seems like it'd be nice to have. And we can actually shell dock and play like lingering souls. Seems pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, one, two, three, lingers. And we could also activate Shell Dock if we had one fewer cards in our deck. That's pretty funny. Philip, what's going on, buddy? Good morning to Australia. My god, what time is it in Australia? It's gotta be like 4 a.m., right? I'm 
Well, that is unfortunate. Actually, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, we're still pretty far ahead here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're actually just going to. I'm actually not going to block five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We just play Leshnor and kill their board, right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this is not going to. Not going to end well. Get a Demir Signet for the first time ever. Make sure we play the land here. And that'll do. Alright. <sighs> this feels like a Day of Judgment matchup. I'll bring in Day of Judgment. Maybe take out... Everything else is very, very good. Take out. I'll take out here a blade hold. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. It only has a Tiffery in it, but, you know, a lot of times that's good enough. Oh, that's nice. I'm at a point where I can't tell if it's raining outside or inside now because it's very, very dark and it looks like it's about to rain any second. But also... It's raining in here as well. Nissa? Rex Sage? Mossy Beard, Frank, I see you don't have any VIPs yet. Are you taking applications? What does that mean? VIPs, what do you mean? What did I miss? I kind of want a Lingering Souls here, but we also... Yeah, we'll just Lingering Souls. Because I do want to have something on board for when we play Teferi next turn. So if they play a guy, we can play Teferi and keep this Day of Judgment. You can give someone a shiny badge in your chat and make them a VIP. Really? I did not know I could do that. Thanks. What did they just do? They killed my Signet? What's that about? I literally have no idea how to do that. That's funny. Zeichi, what's going on? Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. I mean, I guess that's fine. I mean, I didn't want the red anyway, so... We're just going to kind of build up to Day of Judgment. 100 MVP bits. Appreciated, Josh. Uh, I mean, it means something in chat. Like, it's, it's funny in chat. Like, it's kind of cool. It's Badges are cool. Like, I'm not going to lie. Interesting. I 
I don't want to block this guy. I'm just going to take two. It's just, why didn't I attack? I don't know. I'm focusing on VIPs, guys. They didn't play anything. Interesting. Well, that's a good dude. You know what? I'm gonna hold both these guys back and we're gonna play Soren or Tefri rather. Also, is Mike here just wearing the full green suit? Yes, he is. I'm gonna respond to Tefri. Not responding to Tefri. This is all very confusing. Now, now, now playing thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually don't know what this could be. Cord for three. Okay. Chain Whirler would be pretty good. Yeah, Tireless Tracker's fine. One and two. So next turn, we could Day of Judgment and then recast Lingering Souls, which is kind of nice. Uh, both are big Tefs. Yeah, I'm just going to block here. I don't think there's any give trample cards in this set. Okay, sure. Yeah, cording for Ewit to get cord back is definitely a great interaction. I also like cording into, um, what do you call it? Collected company. Or e e collected company into E witnessing, and then E witnessing the collected company back is also like one of my bar none favorite things to do in magic. Okay, so we have two two ladies up in here. I think these guys are worth killing. We could have actually waited just to we could have played Lingering Souls, got some more blocks in and then waited, but I'd rather just get rid of their tireless tracker. One, two, three, four, five, six. We also have seven mana next turn, but I don't think that does anything for us. We have five cards to five cards. We have two guys and a Tefri on board. Should be good. Yep, that's a good dude. They can't kill our Tefri, though, which is nice. And then Baneslayer has pro dragons. Oh, that's gas. Do they go five here? No, they go one, one, and three. Okay. We could also draw a counterspell and tuck this. It does have trample, though. That is something. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we're just hoping Bane Slayer does the job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mana next turn. Blue, blue. 
I guess we're hoping they don't have a way to kill Baneslayer Angel in their four color deck. I can't stand the rain out my window. Is that. Wow. Oh, three colors, three colors. Oh, do they pay five for this? Thinking that Sunburst is like... That is not how that works. It's not how many you pay. I was like, it said five, and I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. You don't have blue anywhere. What's going on? Yeah, it's going to assign eight to Baneslayer and three to Teferi, but then uh, it's just going to, the damage is going to get prevented. So. Yeah, that was a pretty underwhelming engineer explosives. And I feel like if they didn't have a way to deal with Baneslayer, they don't have a, a way to deal with Lyra Baneslayer next turn, so that's going to be helpful. Oh, did they just go? Wait. Oh, we gained five. Yeah, sure. And then Teferi takes three. If engineer explosives is just like however much you pay, that's that's the number of counters that you get on it. Do I have another job? No, I do not. So your support through follows and subscriptions and watching YouTube videos and Patreon and MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore are extremely helpful to my way of life. So streaming and content creation is my, my primary job. I do not have another job I go to. Hence why I'm here at 4 p.m. starting at 2 p.m. And yeah, we're going to draw a card. What do they get back? Court of Calling, I bet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's also good, though. Hmm. Is it good? I don't know. It's going to be good because we can... I think we just have to play Lyra here. One, two, three, four, five. Lyra. I do love bits. And then we're just going to pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At what point do we just start attacking their face? Not right now. So we can condescend for four, which is not the strongest, but... Uh, I don't supplement my income with bare knuckle brawling anymore. It was a little too hard to justify when, uh, you know, things. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. We can count this for four. That doesn't do much, does it? That is fine. I use the term fine loosely there. Oh, large Brandon with 30, 30 divided up evenly bits. Are they in a court? What are they courting and calling for? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They also accidentally land. Oh, no, they tapped 3 and then 4. Yeah, that's fine. That is correct. Man, Large Brandon's going ham. Ten bits at a time. Literally ten bits at a time. We have eleven lifelink here, which is nice. Eleven first strike lifelink. Angels on deck. I'm taking them. I'm taking your dimes. You're throwing dimes at me. I guess we're blocking. Well, he's going to die anyway, right? He's going to take... Yeah, so we're... I guess we're just double blocking here. Tefri has to go. If we block and block, the uh, two damage tramples over still, so... I'd rather get the 8-8 off the board than the 2-1. This is where they kill Baneslayer and they kill Lyra. Oh, no, this is where we just gain 11. That seems good. Tefri... 
Carry on, my wayward son. There will be peace when you are gone. Do I have some bits stuck in my beard? That's unfortunate. I wasn't even over in the bit jar. So we know they have Court of Calling. I guess now we're just going to attack for 11 and put them on the old two turn claw. Oh, they have a. Now they have this thing, so we're going to attack you and attack your face. You can counter something for. Eight. I feel pretty safe with condescend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So unless you have like I'm gonna say no to this. For six and you have nothing left, so I'm just gonna pay two here. Uh I will keep you on top and I will put you on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reason being, now we can play Soren, kill the Eternal Witness, and we're probably in pretty good shape here. And your turn. I feel like this was a poor choice. I'm not sure what they could have done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so they can deal three. That's not super exciting. And they're going to do it because they're tapped out. Or they're out of cards in hand, rather. Yeah, this is Commander. We started at 30 instead of 20. Which is still a sizable increase. I have 57. All right, well, that worked out well. 12. We're literally one away. That's sad. I guess we could have played Sora and made an emblem, but now we get to play with our food a little longer. Oh, casual 68. Can't even, can't even have a nice life total. That's sad. We did it. I can't stand the rain. Now I have this Missy Elliott song stuck in my head, and I don't even know the song, really. How did Pelucranos die? Because it fought both Baneslayer Angel and Lyra. Frank, you missed the sub, but Seville Pittman, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, buddy. Nine months in a row, our sub baby is ready. I mean, even if you targeted one angel, it's still going to kill the Pelucranos, right? It's only going to deal three, and then... Well, I guess it wouldn't have killed it, but... I mean, we only would have gained six instead of... 11, so. Oh, uh, this seems great. Looks like we're just going to be getting an island with the flooded strand because we don't want a hollow. We don't want a godless shrine here. We want double blue, considering we have th two white and two black already. Kind of presumptuous that a baby gestates in nine months. Is it though? Is it? I actually don't know. I don't know anything about babies. Oh well, now we might get something different. I like I like this curve here. I'm a fan. I was born six weeks early. Well, that's because if you were born any later, you probably wouldn't have fit in your mother's body anymore because of your height. 
it's not really a joke. It's just a factual statement about large Brandon's height. How is Babby formed? Oh, we're just going to play Counterspell. Counterspell hold up. Well, this is sad. I still want to get the Godless Shrine because it's just the most versatile. We have three blue, two white. That'd be three. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we're definitely not playing Teferi here. We're just gonna like this is so this is so ridiculous. I did not want to play this match. This is like my least favorite form of magic, where you're just like, I'll play a land and pass. I'll play a land and pass. We're definitely gonna rev at the end of the turn. If that's what they want to counter, I'm okay. Frank, run out your counter spell on his end step. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hey, I'll counter something, and then they're like. Dang, I guess it resolves. Remand? Manally? Wow, I was really hoping it wasn't Spell Pierce. And here we are. Oh, cringing. I'm cringing very hard right now. Can you guys feel it through the monitor? I feel like I get like 19 subs in an, like a two hour time span. And the sub count goes up like one. And I'm just like, what the shit, Twitch? Like, why does it work like this? Can't stand the rain. Oh, we know Spell Pierce is gone, so. Let's see what we can do. I have a battle leak as well, idiot. <laughs> Graveyard. Hey, we did it. We're on the board. Five, five cards to four cards, and we have an Elspeth in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. They have an Elspeth on board too. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna tuck that dude, but then we lose our Teferi, don't we? No, we don't. We can condemn. We could also pump and float on over. Float it on over. One, two, three, four, five. No, we can't do both. I guess we don't have to, right? Block, block, tuck one, Teferi stays at one. Is that correct? Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Create a one one bro. This gentleman. Peace out. And now we wait. Pump plus float. Uh, yeah, but the problem with that is that they get another Elspeth trigger, which means three more, three more guys on board. And like when we have two planeswalkers that we're trying to play, like I don't really want them to, to go wide with like six dudes. Does not seem like a winning combination. I'm going to do this first because if they don't have a way to deal with it, we can double block. Perfect.
Proper polygon, 300 bits, three going wide bucks. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Well, it's not going to be Elspeth. Gideon Jura, that's actually okay. I can deal with this. Insta draw card. Don't be a land. It was a land. One, two, three, four. Let's play Hero of Blade Hold. Make a dude. Play a Dark Slick Shores. Pass the turn. Untap two lands. No, I wasn't saying Plote, I was asking. What are you asking? You asking Plote? Regulators! Mount up. That's from the song. See, this is obnoxious because I want to counter this. But I don't really care. And they're going to attack with Gideon, but we can actually disallow the activation. It's probably just better to counter this, right? We get to keep these guys if we counter this. I don't think they have that many counter spells. I think this might have been the only thing they had. Because they haven't countered anything else. Thanks to you guys, everything Scott's around the boat with float. Really? How, am I the one who said that? I don't feel like I've said that. But I accept that you that you think of me. Sure. I guess we both I guess they had spell pierce too. Silk wrap that guy. Yeah, that seems just fine. I think they're gonna draw Elspeth next turn, which is problematic. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's real good. Oh, that's also okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're one man away from both. So three, four, five, six, seven. Whereas if we pump, we can kill Gideon Jura. Presumably. Oh, we are going to attacks. Yeah, well, okay, I was really afraid we stacked it incorrectly there. I almost forgot that we have to... Alright, we did it. I'm intrigued. Hmm. Welp. I guess we'll sacrifice you. Uh, Gideon? And Gideon. So, it looks like they can't actually stop. They can attack one of these, but we can play Soren and just kill Gideon. It's not terrible. Oh, we're also going to untap two lands. Yeah, I think actually making our permanence indestructible next turn, being able to keep Elspeth around, and, and Teferi for that matter, is probably where we want to be. This creature planeswalker. Yeah, and this is actually the silk wrap makes much more sense now that we've seen um, that they had Blessed Alliance. God, I wish I could play this guy at instant speed. Rain, I remember when this used to be the national stream. What was that even? The, oh, the, is that because we played the national? Is that what you mean? Because I also remember that. Yeah, we're just going to ultimate here. To just tuck the Elspeth again. Like, we can play both of our dragons, which is pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five. Destroy all creatures. They are indestructible. Let's just draw cards then. Oh, that's real good. Had I known I was going to draw that, I actually would have played Baneslayer instead, but actually maybe not. Yep. 
Yeah, all of our things being indestructible here is pretty unbelievable. I actually don't know how they deal with this, but I guess they could have, like, Terminus in their deck, and that would be pretty nuts. I'm about to bust. I got you covered, CTB. Hey, you going to the bathroom? How come? Well, I'm about to bust. Hmm. Apparently, an Elspeth Emblem is pretty strong. Apparently, never being able to deal with your opponent's creatures in any way, shape, or form really gets the job done. <sighs> kind of like Fumigate here. Or not Fumigate, uh, Sky Sovereign. Deccan Stone is great against their creatures, their tokens. Uh, L.S. Norn is great against their tokens. This is great against their Gideons and Elspeths. Yeah, I can see playing 41 with 17 lands and 2 Signets. I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm about to bust. Yeah, I guess Selfless could be good. I mean, I don't know. They, we only saw a Day of Judgment, which I'm not super afraid of. Well, this hand is not ideal. Oh, it's the same hand. Keep. <laughs> yeah, you can stay. I'll often say I thought the blank was white, but I don't know the meme origin. That's pretty funny. Look up. Here, I'll actually show you. There you go. <coughs> it's a... Uh, not for kids, though, so... Oh, Godless Shrine at a Dark Slick Shores is pretty okay. Oh, I like this. All right, I think we're back in the game. Five cards to six cards. We have a Sinister Sabotage. Eh? Did they miss a land drop? Oh, this is... This is... This is too good. Now we get to sit here and build our... Our base. All our base are belong to... Oh, dang it. Buskets, honey buskets. Oh, I like a Venturino. Gifts I'm given? Turn a land? Sure, that's fine. <laughs> Yep, that's fine. 
Are they still not hitting land drops? They had to have hit one there. They drew a card, they drew a cryptic card, and they sent tickled sensor. They did not draw land. Wow. Brutal. I actually like playing a regular land here because if we want a Sinister Sabotage, if they have Spell Pierce, which is kind of likely, um, then we actually get to play around it. We get to go one, two, three, and still play around it. So they can, like, if they don't. Hmm. Eh, that's fine. <laughs> that's cute. Isn't that special? That was the actual worst script I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, like, they're missing land drops, so I don't, I don't blame them for that. <clears throat> so now we have Sinister Sabotage and Spell Pierce up. We're also, we've recovered quite well from our five card mulligan five here. Sure. I mean, like, Digging deep here. There we go. They hit. They did it. Six. I guess we're just playing Concealed Courtyard. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely not running a Soren out there. I'd rather play Soren when we have either Sinister Sabotage or at least Spell Pierce. One thought the bits were white. <laughs> I thought the bits were 100. I thought the bits were white bits. Nice. Appreciate it. Six, seven. Like, they're gonna make a guy. So, Gideon's a. F so, we can play Soren. One, two, three, activate. Yeah, I'm just gonna Sinister Sabotage this guy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Th yeah, and we're gonna have enough mana to play around Spell Pierce here, which is pretty nice. And I will presume they have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Soren Grim Nemesio. My wife just asked if I could grill, and I started to tell her no because of the rain. <laughs> no, it's raining out. <coughs> it's actually pretty hilarious. Can you start cooking food now? No, it's gonna rain. What are you talking about? It's ridiculous. Yep, that was a good one. Can I get a dragon or a five drop? Thank you. <laughs> God, magic you're always so accommodating. I mean, if they want a day of judgment, this that's fine. We can just follow it up with Leshnor. <clears throat> it's not even raining here. This is a this is a website called Rainy Moods. Just so you guys know, this is not actual rain. This is literally. A, a website called rainymood.com that you can open and add background rain to your life. Lyra. La 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 Lyra. T -t 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 Tomato. What are the odds they have Blessed Alliance in their hand? Five, six, seven. We'll have we're one mana shy of being able to activate this. Mm, okay. 
Okay, well, that's good. <coughs> I kind of want to play hero, but I really don't want to just walk into a day of judgment. Fumigate's gone. Like, they could go Day of Judgment and then tap down Shambling Vent. And that's pretty bad for us. I can't tell if you're joking about what. This is not actual rain. It's not actually raining right now. What's up with that? Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. It doesn't matter if Florida will be raining in 10 minutes. Yeah, that's actually true. That's factually accurate. Faccurate, if you will. Oh god, what is this? Oh wow, really? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, sun is how that works. We're definitely gonna crack here to try to thin this deck a little bit. Approach of the second sun is very, very interesting. Oh, that's nice. <coughs> um yeah. Thank you. What happened? Spud Muffin, thank you so much for the, the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, I was like, wait, what am I doing here? Hold on, we're gonna go black, white, blue, anguished on making the banishing light, <coughs> get our Sereno back. I mean, I am afraid of, uh, new spell pierce? Sure. One, <coughs> two, yes. Buckle my shoe. And we're going to actually try to kill them as fast as possible because we have an approach of the second sun to deal with. And they only have two cards in hand, which is nice. That's a good feeling. Seal Pippin, have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much for hanging out. <clears throat> really appreciate the support. And the resub. So seven is gone. That's right, Sphinx is rev for five. No. What's going on? Terminus? Day of Judgment? I wonder if the math, like if they shuffled their deck, is the math better? Oh wow, that's that's a dude. Is the math better that they randomly hit <coughs> uh, Approach of the Second Sun in the next six turns with 17 cards? Look at the top two. Okay, so six and five are now gone. That's something. Consecrated Sphinx went to the graveyard. Our time is growing, growing short. <coughs> one, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five. We can play multiple things here, but not. 
We almost have to kill you. I don't like Norn and Slap Rowl because <clears throat> then we have to, like the way we're doing it now, we get to put uh, an Elspeth and get rid of the Rowl, which is ver which is relevant. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is gonna get countered for no. Okay. I'm surprised. Like, we have counter spells in our deck, right? Like, I don't actually... It's sinister. We have Condescend, which is great. We need to find that. Uh, I feel like we have another one. I don't know what it is, though. So they're at three. Sun is three cards down. Yeah, this is why we didn't want to play Eleshnorn. Because if they want to just Day of Judgment there, that's fine. Condemn. Reel a card. Hope you land. Deck in stone. Create the boys. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 next turn. Oh my god, and they're at 18. Oh, but Soren. Actually, if we hit a if we hit a non-land, Soren could do it. So they have to draw two cards here and still be able to play Approach here. Yep, that's good, but... Yep, you kind of had to do that. This is all very sad, what's happening here. Sphinx's Rev <coughs> could actually save us. Um, Elspeth Ultimate could also save us. Conclave Tribunal is good. Yeah, Sphinx's Rev is probably going to actually do the deed for it. We're going to actually attack both of, two of these guys at Elspeth just to get rid of the Elspeth. And then we're going to Windmill Slam a Sphinx's Revelation here. Beer Man Man, what's going on? Long time no see, buddy. <clears throat> Alright, so Approach is their literal next card. Unless I miscounted. Which I don't think I did. Yeah, that's fine. Because we're going to rev at the end of their turn. And the next card is Approach of the Second Sun. <clears throat> Battle Cry was huge there, though. Well, we don't get Battle Cry unless Hero Blade Hole attacks, so. They've already used their. <clears throat> Do we want to drink for eight? Yeah, we're just going to go for. Like, I don't think they have Mana Leak. Famous last words, they have Mana Leak. <laughs> My god. What even? What even, dude? <clears throat> uh, I think we can still win here. Pretty sure we 100% win, actually. Did they take five from Sky Sovereign? Is that what they, was that the hit? <clears throat> well, wow, next card is Approach of the Second Sun. That's pretty sweet. Negative 14. Seems good. Seems good. 
Well, we have not lost a game yet, so that's a that's a good indicator of a, of a success thing. <coughs> Um, I actually think, I think Castaway is actually the best O-ring they've ever printed, right? Castaway has, Cast Out, rather, Cast Out has Flash, right? I mean, I think Cast Out is just straight up better, but. An instant speed O-ring that also can cycle is definitely, I think that's definitely better than just being able to convoke it. Bjorn, what's going on, buddy? <clears throat> we are currently 2-0, going into round 3. Not losing any games is a good sign. I agree with you. Alternate timeline. Have a good good luck grilling in the in the rain, buddy. Good luck grilling in the rain. Like, I don't think they have mana leak. Famous last words, they have mana leak. <laughs> My god. I don't think they have mana leak. Famous last words. They have mana leak. Uh, you were two turns from Sony. We actually ultimated <clears throat> uh, Elspeth's son's champion. And then we attacked them for, like, 27. It was glorious. They played a Gideon, and then we Conclave Tribunaled it, and then he went away. Oh, uh, this hand is actually very, very good. We get to keep up Disallow, and then we get to go into Sorum. Ooh, double counter spell. Wow, four lands. Holy crap. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> guess we'll get the second black source. Well, that was miserable. I guess I'm glad we hit that land pocket. Maybe. I'm about to bust. Okay. Dece. Oh, I see what's happening now. Where's my fumigate? Yikes. This is an aggressive start that I'm not super thrilled about. One, two, three. Yeah. No. I want to put you on the top because we definitely need to hit this Bane Slayer Angel if we're going to have any chance at this game whatsoever. Uh, we're probably going to Conclave Tribunal this Legion War boss here, though. One, two, three, four, five. This This feels bad. Feels Batman. <laughs> you should never think they don't have a card. The simulation burns. That's true. I think it's in the programming of the simulation that once I mention they don't have a card, that the simulation ends up giving them that card. Darth, Darth Edward, thank you so much for those sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> oh, Devil's Play. Seems good. Uh, Yeah. So I'm going to concede. Okay, now we're going to change our deck a little bit. Uh, you're going to go here still. We're going to bring in this guy, <clears throat> Day of Judgment and Fumigate. I'm going to take out Condescend <clears throat> and Disallow. And everything else is probably fine. Maybe Anguish on Making. Fairgrounds Warden seems pretty okay. Actually, I don't like it because we have Day of Judgment and Fumigate, so I don't want to, like, kill our... Legion seems okay. I mean, we're never going to be able to flip it. Maybe we could flip it. It's actually probably fine. Yep, this hand is great if we start at multiple land. Wow, this is also not... I think we're just going to keep losing to Mono Red, because even though we have 
the cards in our deck to uh, <clears throat> to deal with it. We just never end up drawing them. I guess we can go turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six if we hit all lands forever. Well, that's that's already failed. Still, we can still hit all lands forever. Okay, we did it. We're back in the all lands forever game. <clears throat> Uh, Baby Storm could not have kept us alive. All they have to do is attack with the one menace creature that's a 2-1, and then we would die. Alternatively, they can play a land, and Devils play us for two. Multiple ways we are not kept alive through that. Let's get... We don't need two black. We need two blue, though, so we'll get a hollow fountain. Okay, well, no third lane, no fourth lane, which is very nice. I'm a fan. <coughs> Land. Cool, this is how it's going to be. Five drop. Sweet. 17 lands, two segments. Missing land drops. Well, we tried. We did our best. They missed a land drop. Let's see if they can keep up with us. Missing one land drop is for suckers. Any land here, Day of Judgment, would be <clears throat> pretty pretty okay. Any untapped land. To me or Signet. Three, four, five, six. Well, we're not dead yet, I guess. Maybe they can commit more and we can we can do the thing after. Hard to say. Who knows how magic wants to work. Well, they're always not playing anything else, but we do get to... Oh, well, they are. Well, this worked out quite well. Who? Any land? Let me, let me angels. Let me angels one time. Don't have anything good. You've missed a bunch of land drops. You've been playing out stuff. Come on. Just let me breathe. Daddy needs to breathe. All right, well... <clears throat> some life gain here. I guess we could actually keep up Sinister Sabotage. But we could also try to start closing out this game as well. I'm going to keep up Sabotage. I think we have a turn to do that. I think we're more inclined to win with these guys. And if they have, like, a bunch of burn spells... Also, Koth is so... So bad against Hero Blade Hold. They just make a 4 4 and do the deed. Yep, see, this is what I was afraid of. I'm going to sabotage this. Nah, that's fine. I'll let it go. But I did, we did, we did try to respond to that, so. Yep, this is exactly what I was afraid of, actually. I, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Uh, into the graveyard. <clears throat> Sorry, no more dragons. 
I don't want to go to three, and if they have a hasty guy. Uh, yep, that's what we were... So now we can condemn the mountain that they attack with. And then ideally draw a land that is not a Seacomb Coast or a Dark Slick Shores. Oh, thank God. We're going to lead with Baneslayer because Pro Demons and Dragons could actually be relevant against this deck, so... However, they could add six mana and just kill us with Devil's Play here, which I feel like they're going to do. Which is a little frightening. And they're like, oh, I can add three. And then just kill you. One swing is all we want. If we can connect one time, I feel like we can live our best life. Oh, man. Museum Mortars add three. <clears throat> Bonfire. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Actually, that Soren is actually really, really good here. Because now we get to Soren. This guy for four, I'm going to say, just to gain four instead of just gaining two. <clears throat> Keep Soren on the board. And I don't know what this is. I don't care. It's probably... Um, so they're going to flip it. I don't think there's anything in here to, like, really. Let's see what we hit. It's going to be a land, because now the lands are coming. Lands keep on ticking and ticking. I think, yeah, Irish Shaman is what I'm thinking. Abbot of Kuroki doesn't have morph. <clears throat> it's got to be Irish Shaman. Which means they're likely going to flip it, pay two. This might have been greedy. It might have just wanted to kill it. But I don't think... Like, they're going to have two mana left over if they flip it. And I don't think they can actually deal with a Lyra. With two mana. It's actually not bad. Double 5-5 five, five lifelink for Strike Angels is really... It's really all I want. Isn't it R to flip? I definitely don't think it's R. But it might be. I mean, I've certainly been wrong before. I don't think any of the any of the flips are one. Oh, it is one. Dang, you're right. That's scary. Uh, Sphinx of Revelation, please. No, no, that's not gonna work. You play without paying the cost. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> that's actually the worst. Oh, biscuits. I got real excited because of the life gain, and then I realized, oh, you don't you don't actually pay the mana for it. So <clears throat> they could FWF. What does that mean? Like, we take three, and then they have three mana left over to do anything with. Like, I don't think the card under here is really that relevant, to be honest. I think as long as Shambling Vent and Lyra survive, we're okay. Yep, they're going to flip this. They get a mountain. Seems fine. I don't think, I still don't think there's a four mana spell that deals with this. Yep, that's not it. Definitely don't think there's a two mana spell that does it. Yep. <clears throat> Tax Soren. Cloud Skateru. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like Elspeth make a guy get rid of this by tapping the guy. They have two cards in hand, though. Maybe that's not great. <clears throat> Actually, it's probably Hero Conclave Tribunal. Oh, we're definitely going to be making Lyra Yuge at some point, just not yet. We're going to play Hero here, and then we're going to Tribunal on... 
Actually, probably on this guy. I don't care about the three damage at this point. I'd rather you not go too, super wide here. And I feel like this is probably game. Nope. I was incorrect. Eh, I was not that incorrect, actually. We're still in good shape here. <coughs> we could also play Elspeth and activate this next turn. gonna bounce you go to 14 <laughs> you shall like to send a message jokes on you there's a sphinx's revelation under here don't you want to make sure your own card make your own card what sort of objective would it have and what sort of interaction oh, I have no idea that is a that is a pretty sizable question to answer all in the middle of the game to be honest with you <clears throat> also I have not thought it through that much I just want to make a card game Sarkon. Okay. So you can deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, we're just killing this guy. So now you can deal 1, 2, we can deal 5. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, that's nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, oh, we're one shy of doing everything. 5, 6, we can actually just gain 9 life here. play that. Do we play Elspeth here? Or do we just... Yeah, we're going to play Elspeth here. It's just a better mana use. Like, this puts us so far out of range of... of death. So is, do we just kill you, though? Do we just go to your face? Can't do anything else. You come a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, this is fine. I'm just going to go to your face. We're at 17. That's pretty healthy. I definitely don't think lifelink is a broken mechanic. Elspeth, 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 El everything at Elspeth, or? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like, we can't. Can we save Elspeth if we block the two biggest guys? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, so there's no point in blocking Elspeth. So they have Iron Shaman and one other card. Are they just dead here? <laughs> well, that's sad. That is very, very sad, actually. One, two, three. God, I wish we had more black here. We have one. We have one source of... I guess we're fine, right? Activate this guy. Attack. I guess we want to get rid of Sarkon. Sarkon, Sarkon, your face. Can we talk about how good uh, that Blade Splicer would be right about now? where you devils play a token. OK. 
can confirm. Blade Splasher will be very good. Two, three, four, five. Is this, they both two twos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we go to eight here. They have two cards. Do we know what either of them are? I don't know. I can't. I feel like this game is actually slipping away from us again, which is kind of funny. I feel like this is probably better. We get to go Shambling Vent and Spirits next turn. Plus getting the Legion War Boss off the board is probably better for our longevity. Oh, we knew that one. That's the one we knew. Thunder Maul, yes. Exiled forever. Oh, wow. That would have been so good. Oh, boy. That was nice. <laughs> okay. I think we just attack for two, but then like the problem is they still have the devil's play in the graveyard, so we take three then we take four so we're at six god, this is going to be game this is going to be game game changing here So we're at a virtual six. We're gonna gain two though. Block here. So we go up to eight, and we take three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. I guess if they don't devil's play our guy though, then it's actually okay. And then they lose on the crackback. And they have to tap out to do that, so I think that's actually okay. Yeah, we're just gonna attack with two flyers. Wow, having that Thunder Mile Hellcat XL was pretty insane. Um, Like this, bam, bam, and a white. So we block here, we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but we go to we gain a life. So we go to four, and if they hit a land, they can kill us with devil's play. <laughs> God. Actually they didn't need a land, did they? Yeah, they didn't need a land. Yeah, they just kill us. Wow, that is un this game was unbelievable. Yeah, that was pretty insane. Um, can I return to the... Can I go to my game? I want to draw. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank if you're looking for super comfortable uh, onesies, lounge pants, socks, tees, or underwear itself. Uh, they have lots of sweet styles, and you get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. So if you're looking for that kind of thing and you want to support the stream, that's a great way to do it. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can check it out. Helps you. Helps me. We all win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. I really appreciate the support.